This is a video about how to mount gemstones in this half bezel mount that I've devised. Normally a, uh, a gemstone is mounted in a ring via a full bezel, which would go all the way around and not be formed over, and then you'd have to form it, bend the edge over all the way around uh, with a special tool. Unfortunately that can break the gemstone, so usually you'd have a jeweler do that and uh, it would form this little groove on the inside. This is a half bezel. The other way one would normally mount gemstones is with a prong mount. This is an example of a prong mount and this has uh, five prongs. Normally they're an even number of prongs so that you can form them both at the same time, but anyway, uh, prongs can also break the gemstones when you're when you're forming them, so you have to be careful with these to not uh, to not break the gemstones and it's difficult to get them in without pliers or, or a special uh, prong forming tool. So I don't prefer those. I'm trying this out. This is a, a half bezel that I've devised and hopefully it will be uh, both easy to put in without any special tools, just a hot glue gun and uh, also very secure. So the idea is that the gemstone slips in here into this groove and then the glue holds it against this little surface here. So we'll just add a little bit of glue to the back side. The reason this works is because the groove inside here holds the gemstone from rotating or moving up and down. So that constrains it in the vertical and uh, rotational dimensions because it can't move. It can't move there because the groove holds it in place. So the only thing you can do is translate this direction. And this little gap here allows you to get the gemstone in. You slide it down this and then in there. And then by adding a little bit of glue right here, it keeps it from moving back out this way and that holds it securely in place. So that's how that mounting works, the half bezel mount functions. So let's see how this goes. These gemstones are provided from Fire Mountain Gems. I get uh, a lot of my jeweling supplies from those guys. I'm sure that you guys are familiar with them if you do any jewelry supply, but uh, them's them. You can get them in millimeter sizes. These are three and a half millimeter for this particular ring, but whatever size mount is in your ring is the one that you're going to want to use. I'm just going to get three of these out here and hopefully I'll be able to put them into the ring without too much trouble. I'm going to use a tiny little screwdriver here and just get a tiny bit of hot glue on it and pick up one of these gems so that I'm not fumbling all over the place with it. Just like that. It doesn't need to be very secure. It just needs to be secure enough to hold it in place while we mount it. So uh, if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can get one for inexpensive at any craft store. So we're just going to drop this in, hopefully. Drop this in here like this. Uh, this is the first time I've done this, so hopefully this goes smoothly. I will put a marker in the video for where you can skip to when I'm successful. Although it looks like I got that one in. So that's how it goes. Slips into that groove. And now we're just going to take a tiny bit of hot glue and uh, Dab it on the back. Let's see here. My gun here. It's going to get in the way a little bit, but that's all right. Um, and then you can always, oops, you can always take any excess off later. I feel like I'm going to burn myself. Hopefully I don't. There we go. A little bit of hot glue. And so that should secure it in there. And it should look nice and clean from the front. Yes, it does. Beautiful. So that's what we're going to do three more times. Let's do it. Let's do it three more times. Here we go. Get a little bit of oops, get a shot. Get a little bit of hot glue on our tool here. This is just a, a small screwdriver, but even a stick would work. And uh, oops, dab it on one of those. The back side's not going to work so well because we need to reach in from the front side, so I'm just going to reposition it, warm up my hot glue again. I may need to set the temperature of my glue gun up because this is getting a little cold, and dab it on the front side. There we go. Just enough to hold it in place. In the olden days, jewelers would use wax for this, but hot glue works just as well. 
plug in my glue gun for a second. All right, there we go. Put this in from the front, and maybe the uh, maybe the last time I'll do it just with my fingers. It'll be harder for you to see what I'm doing, but hopefully I'll be able to show you that it's possible to do this without uh, without the little tool. Oops, I didn't get that properly. There we go. I think that's right. Oops. It wasn't right, but that's okay. These are, as you're noticing, a bit fiddly to get in. But that's okay. We'll keep on trying. It takes a little bit of time. And of course, you could pay a jeweler to do this for you. Uh, it only cost about maybe five or ten dollars. Have a jeweler mount the jewels for you. But um, you might want to give them a link to this video because I've never seen a half bezel like this before, so they might not know what they're supposed to do. Uh, obviously, I am not a professional at this, but I'm doing my best. Let's see. Oh, that's not in there. It's dropped below the edge. Mm. Oh, it's flopping all over the place. warm up my glue again and uh, grab my gemstone there we go that I think is right Let's pull this off yes there we go and then again from the back add just a little bit of hot glue if we can manage it uh, it's getting warm. It's getting awful warm. Thankfully, the silver wicks heat very quickly, so the whole ring gets a bit warm, but it doesn't burn me where I'm touching it. This is sterling silver. You can also buy these rings from Shapeways in uh, brass or gold if you can afford it although I as you see cannot all right well we'll leave that for now you can always go back and add more glue if it starts to come wobbly but that seems to be in there pretty well I'll just test it a bit yep it's not coming out and that's all we need it doesn't need to be super secure and you'll notice that this design has the the uh, gems facing outward just a tiny bit so that they're catching the light at different points. I think that makes it look a little nicer than when they're all on the same plane. All right, one more to go. Here we go. We got our hot glue. Get a little bit of that. And pick up our gemstone. And get it on there real secure. Beautiful. And then try to slide this in. I said I was going to show you how to do it with your fingers, but I may end up doing that anyway. See if it falls off, we'll do it that way. Mm. Is that in? Oh, it's in. All right. Well, you don't get to see me do it with my fingers. The uh, the way I've found that works best is you put it upside down on your finger, and then try to slide the ring down around the gem that way. But uh, I'm not gonna waste this because this looks like it went in beautifully. So we're gonna put the glue in there. You can see what I'm doing. Just a little bit of glue. Whoop, and that's getting warm again. I should unplug my hot glue gun, but that will do it. Wipe a bit of the excess off, and you can always uh, pull the hot glue away from anywhere that it's not supposed to be. But it looks like that, oh yeah, it's crunched up in the middle a little bit there, so let's clean that up. I'm just gonna put that down for a second and clean off my tool. And then uh, you can just take your tool, place it against your hot glue gun to get it all nice and warm, and then it'll act kind of like a knife. Let's see, are you going to focus on me? you going to focus for me? There you go. Good. And just cut away all that hot glue there. Don't want it to be ruining the beautiful design. All right. Well, there you have it. 
I could use a little bit of cleanup, but uh, you get the idea. The rest is just cleaning. Eventually I did clean this up by placing it face down on a hard heat proof surface and hitting the back with a heat gun. So it just warms up the hot glue enough for it to melt a bit and it gets rid of all those strings and gets the glue to melt down around the edge of the gems to hold it really securely. Although, as I said earlier, all you need is for it to be in between that little slope and the jewel itself and the glue will hold it in place. So you could use anything. You don't have to use hot glue. You could use any kind of glue really and it's gonna to stick to the casting pretty well and all it has to do is just fill up that little gap. So it doesn't have to adhere very well at all even to the jewel. And uh, this is brand new, so this comes right from the printers. No special finish, just the stock. Oops, I got a little glue down there too. Uh, the stock finish. But if you wear it for a while, it'll end up looking like this. And uh, so you can see it gets kind of antique looking. This one has been cleaned a few times, but uh, it gets a little bit worn as well. These used to be all nice, uh, nice round balls here, and so they've been worn down for years of use, but they still hold up well. Sterling silver is pretty tough stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and I'm glad that this worked. I'm going to go give this to my wife, because she will be happy to have a ring again. This is a design that she came up with. She drew this out, sketched it out years ago before we were married, and uh, she has somehow lost her rings in the intervening period. but. I'm always glad for an opportunity to try something new. So this is a new kind of mount design, and I uh, hope you'll enjoy it, and I hope you have as well.